Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one-take property tours. <laughs> now, this week's tour is a building which was found by my wonderful Carla Rossi. Anybody who knows Carla from my office will understand that she is the most caring person, and she is the one that's going to be the first port of call when you send emails to abode in Italy. This house was built at the turn of the 20th century, and to be honest with you, I want to buy it. I hope you've got drinks and nibbles and pen and paper, because at the end of this tour, you are going to say to me, Nick, I want this house, and I will agree with you, you do want this house. And when I give you the price, you're going to go, wow, that is cheap. And yes, it is. Oh, bumblebees. Isn't it beautiful? Life, really, just beautiful. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. Now, the first thing I want to tell you that basically this house is just off a tiny country road and we've got beautiful original gates as we come in. And really, honestly, <laughs> seriously, I, look, I'm just gonna pull up. Now this building is about over 500 square meters gross and that's about mm, 420, 430 meters of net internal space over four floors. And it is just, just beautiful. As I said, it was built at the early part of the 20th century and it's just really oh wait, what can i say about it it is a classic noble country house i mean look at the stonework i mean really this has all been carved by hand look i just want to show you that i mean, that's just been cut by hand it really is beautiful so you would have come along and then you know potentially parked your buggy and we'll get to that later and then come to the front of the house and here you would have just scraped your shoes on that piece of metal knocked on the door and uh, just popped in now yes it has knockers yes but first of all i'm going to pull up because i want to show you these two stone supports which were coming out of that balcony can you see them oh just love them absolutely love them right i can hear tractors in the background okay are you ready let's go oh look at those beautiful rusty knockers oh, i'm just going to give you a close-up of those look at that over 100 years old wow yeah yeah, oh, and what's really interesting, the one on the left is rusty, and then the one on the right is not so rusty because that has had human <laughs> grease put on it. Yes, all right, yeah. <laughs> Look, we're in, we're in. And the first thing I'm gonna say is that is that staircase going up is a very classic Italian house. It really is. Oh, where are we going, Nick? Where are we going? I think we're going to go in here. Now, as I said to you, that this building needs some work doing to it. Um, it needs updating, um, really. And I am just going to pop into this room because I would want this to be my kitchen. Look at the size, the thickness of the walls, all in stone. And you come in here and you've got two beautiful arches. And this is where I set up this morning. And then you have this wonderful space. Oh, really? Oh, honestly, it's huge. What a fantastic kitchen this would be. Bell vaulted ceilings. You know, this is where you would have had your buggy and potentially your horse. It's got a wood burning stove. It's just fantastic. 
It really is. I just think it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Right, we're gonna get down and we're gonna go into the ground floor second cantina as we go across now back into the hallway. And I'm gonna open this door. I like the doors, all handmade, all original. I want to keep them. Ah. Oh, wow. Right. This is the other part of the house. Now, do you see those windows which are right in front of you? Uh, there is a possibility that that has been bricked up, but I would have a planning application and I would try to open those. And maybe if you were lucky, you could potentially open them all the way ground down to the floor. Now that is an old press. Isn't it beautiful? And I wanted to show you this because I think this is really fantastic. This is a picture which was done at the turn of the 20th century and it shows the builders building the house. Yeah, I, I, I want that. I want that uh, inside my house. And look at all these old knickknacks and lids and pots and things and the paddle over there um, is for a pizza. And if I pull around, you can see, now it's not as big as the other one on the other side. And it has some storage area and stuff and it's got some beautiful wooden benches, which I have already put my hand up for. And then this thing, which is blue on the right hand side is a large concrete vat for wine. And then you have some 50 litre wine bottles, which are in the corner. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> are we gonna to walk to the end? Yes, of course we are, Nick. Yes, we, yes, we are. We are gonna to walk to the end because I was just full immersion and I just wanna get you in to see this little door there. Oh, it's got this original key. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, would it come into focus? Yes. Absolutely. Oh, the doors are just beautiful. And in there, there is just a small room and it is for storage. Beautiful doors. Absolutely beautiful. Now I'm going to give you the return of this. It's a big room. It will make a really nice living room. There's lots of other spaces that one can go upstairs, but look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. Now, if you've got a sandblaster, and uh, or a company to do it and you came up you see this power voltage ceiling up here you could sandblast all that cement off there and expose the original brickwork which is underneath and that would make this room just phenomenal absolutely phenomenal oh wait till we get upstairs <laughs> oh, i just think it's just fantastic fantastic lovely old wheel in the corner there's just all kinds of bits of pieces of history which are which are around yes this building will need new electrics yes it will need a new central heating system and do you know what i actually don't care <laughs> i think it would be just perfect right this where the other door leads to the bottom and there is another wheel is just an entrance going out of the back of the property. Now, as we come across here and we begin to climb to the first floor, you will see this beautiful stone steps. And they're really nice. I mean, look at the undulation there. Just the originality of that. Oh. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And we're going to come up onto the half landing and then we're going to get up onto the first floor. Original windows. Um, they need to be double glazed. And the best thing I would say to you is that I would take them off and I would take them to a glass company and just get them 
to put the new glass in and then keep all the originality that you can you can get right oh look at the floor oh oh really oh look at that oh there's some of them which are cracked leave them don't you dare take them out <laughs> yeah just leave them exactly the way they are put some wax on them and they will just be fantastic now where are we going oh i think we're going to go to the right okay so let's pop into this room here and then we're going to see a single bed i think there was probably two singles at one stage yeah very simple nice high ceilings now these tiles and i've mentioned this before in my videos that they've been at a later stage and there's a, a real big mismatch uh, of tiles these been uh, turned over and laid on the other side you see that because they're undulating you see that the way they are yeah potentially i leave those as well i really would now this bedroom has a bath and one suite and i would suggest before you go out and spend an awful lot of money i would get someone round and to have a look at all the piping oh look at these tiles now they look like they've done in an arts and crafts style but i bet those are 1970s myself i know that the roof was done in the 1970s do i like them hmm. the jewelry's out on that one yeah i don't know about that but if i pull around here well it's definitely done in the 1970s because <laughs> if i come around and show you this mirror i'm just going to pull around here it's got a very traditional italian bathroom which is basically like a wet room you have a bidet and um, a toilet uh, and you can see the trap for the shower and it's all tiled and that is a very traditional italian at the time Oh, I just want to get up here and show you this. Yeah, they don't sell these anymore, that's for sure. I think they're great. You know, in a different setting, that would just be fantastic, wouldn't it? Yeah, great, wonderful. Right, let's get out of that bathroom. I see. I think that basically, you know, remodeling of bathrooms can be done quite quickly if you keep using all the original exits. Ooh, I've just been bitten by something. Right. In we go into a second bedroom. I suppose this would be a wonderful bedroom suite because you could, oh, look at that bed. You could have a lovely dressing room in here. Oh, that's a very nice old, almost Victorian, isn't it? Yeah. Four big brass knobs. Oh, I really like that. Now, this one has the original terracotta flooring, and I'm going to show you that, um, and you can see that already. And then again, some of them have a few cracks in them and I would suggest that you just there is a light acid treatment that you can put on them and then you can polish them with beeswax and that's really all you need to do again a lovely big room it really is just beautiful oh I so solidly built this house again look at the walls going through might be tempted to take this door off and so yeah i think i would make this into a master bedroom suite you got a, it's just a stunning stunning dressing room i'm just going to come out into this hallway again and then i'm going to basically just turn to the right now um i don't think i can open that with one hand but this would make just such a lovely study that 
is the window or the French doors that lead out onto the balcony. And then you're looking over the Umbrian Tuscan countryside. We are at here about 35 minutes, no more than 40 minutes away from Cortona. And we are in Umbria and we are looking at Umbria and Tuscany. Right, here we go. Other side. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Wonderful. Keep them. Don't take them out. Such a shame. Over a hundred years old. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I think I want that. That is a very old wood burning stove. I do, I want it. But if I pull around here slowly, and I think that this is two rooms. Now, I haven't seen the plans of this property, so I don't know what's what at this moment in time, but I will tell you that it doesn't really matter because you are going to be making a planning application. So I, you know, it just doesn't matter. You can do exactly what you want. Well, that's very interesting, isn't it? You see the design looking down. If I'm looking down here and the design of the squares, it's like noughts and crosses, isn't it? And then you see the block. They've used the same tile, but they've done a different design. And personally, I think there used to be a wall there and you've got two doors. Yes, it is, Nick. Look, if I come back and I'll show you, we come across, you've got two doors. So I think this used to be two separate rooms and at one stage it was opened up into one room. A lovely fireplace, a built-in kitchen. I really do love these really old, a bit of painted kitchen tables with, you know, a whopping slab of marble on top. They are just gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, look at the fireplace. I'll get over there in a moment. Really? Oh, it's got the, basically the pot in it. Yeah. No microwave food for you today. Ah, oh, look. I love the design of that, don't you? I mean, the way that you put the, you know, the fire underneath and those kind of wings which are coming down would have just like lapped the flames around the pot. I really do. I mean, looking out of the window, all I can see is green. I'm going to give you the reverse now. Oh, really? What a beautiful room this is. It really is just gorgeous. Right, now I've already already decided where the swim pool is going to go and we are probably going to go out there and I'm going to show you that, but I'm just going to pull or put the camera. Now I'm going to open this if I can. Ah, can I? Ah. No, I can't. Well, I have to be, basically the camera will adjust from the dirty window. Can you see it? Oh. The land is basically approximately 9,000 square meters, which is big enough for a beautiful garden. Right. I think we're going to go out through the other door. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, okay. I've got to get around. I've got to, that's a very nice old bench, which is in that corner, but I just, I didn't even notice it before, but I'm going to show you now. I mean, look at this chair. It's giant. It's a giant chair for a giant. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I actually want that as well. Wow. Oh, what a beautiful room this is. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, right, up we go. Where are we going now? Right, out the door. Okay, we're going up to the second floor. Again, beautiful stone steps. Again, all they need is basically a treatment 
and hey, waxing and nothing else, please. Oh, lovely tiles. Now this house also has a wonderful cantina. And I'm gonna show you that when we get outside. Now we come around here and we've got double doors and we're going to lead onto the second floor. Well, let's get up. Yeah, those, uh, look if I lift up here. It is very classic Italian, it really is. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. I think we're going to go, should we go the same way? Yes, why not? What have you got there? Oh, what's that there? Ooh, interesting. Oh, I think that's a stud partition. Well, it's not stud, it's basically bricks. So you've got a single bedroom in here with the original terracotta flooring, little wardrobe inside, very nice window. And then if you come down here, this is a hallway. Oh, I see. So basically a second bathroom. So they're using the same stack. So they're using the same exit for all the gray water. Right, that's been done at a later stage. I'm not sure when. Yeah, and it's exactly the same. If you look, you can see that basically almost the tube of the, sh the uh, shower is in the same place. The toilet's in a slightly different position, but the bidet and the sink, and it looks like that basically that's actually done later. And again, I would try to see what can be salvaged. Ah, oh, very nice bathroom. Yeah. Very nice bathroom. Right. Hang on a minute, just let's see what that there. Okay, that can come down if you want it to. And so you'll end up with a really nice, big double bedroom and a bathroom on suite. And what have you got over here? What's in there? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's get around here for a second. So mirroring the first floor, and again, beautiful original tell Ooh, ooh, come back, Nick. Ooh, ooh, let me just pull down there. Have you seen this? Look. Let's see if I get a little bit lower. Can you see the design on that? Yeah, someone's done that by hand. Oh, I think it's beautiful. Wow, and then the original terracotta flooring. Yep, you have to keep that as well. And then this room has two large windows looking out over the Umbrian Tuscan countryside, really. It's quite a nice wardrobe. I'm gonna come back into the corner. Lovely feeling of <laughs> How can I put this? Squareness. No, you know, it, it, the, the rooms are, they've got a lovely feel about them, lovely size about them, high ceilings. You know, it's, it's not a rustic farmhouse. Yeah. Well. No, I definitely want to keep all the doors. I really would. I certainly wouldn't want to take those away. They're just too beautiful. You know, they've got little brass handles on them. I can see quite a few of them, if not all of them, have the original keys. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's lovely. The light's pinging into there. Now, what's in that one, the right one? Now, this is above where I mentioned downstairs. It would have been a perfect office. Oh, well, wonderful. So you've got another little room up here. I wonder whether you get two extra bathrooms in there and maybe you could, so you could have two bathrooms. Beautiful window looking over the countryside. Yeah, 
little bit of flare from the camera. And again, let's have a look here. Ah, now I can see, look, if you look, I'm coming into another bedroom here. So, oh, so what have we got? We've got one, two, three, four. Yeah, you'll certainly get five bedrooms. Really would. And again, you know, you've got just such lovely light in these rooms. I can see it. Just the lights, once the windows are clean, streaming through the windows. I'm going to see whether I can get, let's see whether I can get out of that window. If we can see, we can open the other one, but we might be able to open this one as the camera adjusts. All right, let's see if I can. Wonderful. Well, there you have it. Tiny country road, beautiful countryside. You are only approximately maximum 15 to 20 minutes away from a large supermarket and also a hospital and, you know, dentist and post office and everything that you need. I would probably be going for uh, my shopping to a town called Umbertide, which is in Umbria. There is a little corner shop and that is about an eight minute drive away. And this morning I went there and picked up a two litre cold bottle of water for 70 cents. <sighs> really? It needs painting, it needs electrics, um, and it needs basically some TLC and some varnish. They've got them again. They're here. They're everywhere. Those, they're basically those slabs. But, oh, look at this table. Oh, I just think it's just beautiful. Now that is a handmade table. And I mean handmade in the sense that basically there is no machines whatsoever. You see the way that that's wood has been planed. That is quite a nice, looks like late 40s, early 50s kitchen unit. Yeah, I like that. I wonder whether this house has been divided into, which is quite common actually, into two apartments. Now what's in there? Oh, it's a little kitchen. Oh, it's later. Oh, right. Okay. Well, that, that is excellent news because what you've got here is that basically you've already got water connected and you've already got an exit for your gray water. And so all you need is some hot water and then you could quite easily turn this into another bathroom. So you have another bedroom or suite. I'm going to try to pull this one open as well. Good Nick, I've got that open. What do I see? Nature. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's come back. I'll give you a turn. So basically what we've got is that we can potentially, we've already got a beautiful master bedroom suite and then two rooms with bathrooms on suites. And then basically you could have another two bedrooms. So this could be a five bedroom house with a fantastic kitchen downstairs and then a wonderful living room. Oh, it's just fantastic. Okay, so now I'm going up onto the fourth floor, which is the attic space. Again, beautiful tread. Yeah, a 
magnetic door. Oh, that's beautiful wood. Ooh. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, in the 1970s, there was a new roof and it was very fashionable at the time to have it done in cement and not wood. Now, a couple of things. Firstly, for structurally wise, it's actually a lot better than having it in wood. Uh, aesthetically, I would have preferred it to be in wood. And my advice to you would be to render or plaster where you can see the um, bricks which they've used and then box and sand and paint the rest of it. So it would be all one big space. Oh, there's no light in here. Oh. Oh, I've, le <laughs> I've left my torch downstairs. I don't know what we're going to see here and if the camera will ever be able to adjust to this. Right, it's going to be pixelated and I'm terribly sorry. Oh, what can I see? Uh, a very old sewing machine and some old beds. But to be honest with you, I mean, the upstairs space here is jolly high. Much higher than I thought. Oh, look at the walls. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah. That's for your yarn, isn't it? And in the corner there, I can see a very old copper hot water system, which you really don't want to connect because they were quite dangerous and had a tendency of potentially overheating and blowing up. Okay, I can see a light and a skylight, which I find quite interesting and then some stairs which are leading out and that probably gives access to the roof as well. And unfortunately, I don't think that I can get in here and give you anything. Well, it's pretty empty actually, but you've got the original flooring. And if I can just show you, if I can, and uh, the camera will be so wonderful and you can just see the concrete beams for the new roof. No, I don't mind. I really don't. It makes the whole structure of the building so much more secure. Oh, what a, what a, what a house. And we haven't finished yet. Right, I am gonna make a little cut here because I've got to get down four floors and then I'm going to go and show you the cantinas. Right, I'm now back on the ground floor and we're just about to step outside the front door. Now the owner has put um, this green awning up over the beautiful original wrought iron railings. And that, that would be, in my view, the first thing to go. I'm just gonna come back out here and pull around lovely mature trees. And then I'm just gonna give you a back view of the of the house as we come back and around. And although nobody has lived here for quite a long time, um, the owner has maintained the property and the grounds as well. And you've got beautiful flowers along the side. And as we walk to the back, now there is a well um, and that's quite deep. And uh, the owner has informed me that basically there is absolutely plenty of water now look at this this is your own personal cantina and there are two styes at the end as well so just to get your bearings i'm going to show you the back of the house lovely courtyard here absolutely divine and then if we just pop our pop our head in here 
So this is going to be, in my view, your wonderful living room. And then we'll come back out of there. Just turn to the side slowly. And then we're going to walk down. And I would recommend this being your beautiful kitchen. Yeah, it's huge, it's just getting here. Can you see it? It's just wonderful. Yeah, sandblast, really. Yeah, not too much of a problem. And then if I come over here and just uh, pull to the right hand side, you've got this beautiful flat land area where, <laughs> Joe Markle, where you can have a wonderful barbecue area and you're just completely you know, surrounded by nature. Two styes, just behind this foliage. We might get a bit of flare. And then over here, there is the bread oven or the peach, pizza oven. And then if we just pull around, and I try not to get too much flare into the camera. And then I will show you the back of the house that I'm going to pull up so you can see how beautiful this property is. Look at the size of it. all built by hand. Oh, it's wonderful. Totally wonderful. And then as we go forward in here, you've got another stable. Now this has had a new roof at some stage as well. And I would just, again, I would just plaster that, but this would make such a fantastic space and workshop and, you know, or it could make a games room or, yeah, it could, potentially it could make a pool house and it's got loads, I love the boots, it's got loads of stuff inside. Yeah. Oh, it's got great stuff. No, you certainly be able to do something here. I can see that the, basically the back wall's been plastered at some stage or rendered. Ooh, ooh, do you see this? That's a Piaggio 50cc motorbike, which is their barn find. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, now I'm gonna guess on the size of this and I think with the barns, I'm probably gonna to say to you, it's about 80 square meters. And looking down at the floor, I can see that that's had a new concrete screed as well. Just gonna show you that. I could all be all kinds of things. It could be whatever you want it to be. All right, let's get up and I'm gonna show you a bit of land and then I am going to show you where I have already decided to put the swimming pool. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit faster for a second. All the land is fenced and there is the possibility that you can buy more land if you so wish. And there's an additional three hectares. And look at the countryside. Yeah. Now there is a electrical cable which goes to the house, but it ends at the property. And so there is a very good possibility that you can actually have that taken down and buried. 
I would take off all that that green stuff that people use in Italy and heaven forbid that you would like to chop down a tree but I would certainly thin, just thin those trees out and then you would have an absolutely beautiful view of the Umbrian Tuscan countryside super place for a pool absolutely fantastic right let's get inside before i melt here we are in our fabulous kitchen where well, it will be one day isn't this amazing it is just utterly amazing anybody who says it's not i just don't want to hear from you okay <laughs> it's i mean selling real estate in italy for 20 years i love this country this is an amazing property for sale right now and in about two minutes you'll realize why the property itself is about 520 square meters gross, which makes an internal space of approximately 430 square meters. It's got a great well. You've already got electricity. You've got two acres of land, about 850, 900, uh, 9,000 square meters. It's over four floors. The ceilings are high. It's original. It hasn't been mucked around with too much. It's just got all its character and all you need to do is come in and do a little bit of work and you will have a fabulous, fabulous house. And the price. <laughs> the price of this that you can buy today is 320,000 euros. Hello, Nick? Yes, I know. I know, I want it too. If you would like further information about this property, please do send an email to info at abodeitaly.com. I'd just like to say a big thank you to everybody who has subscribed to this channel. You know I say it every week and I sincerely mean it, just thank you. And if you had not subscribed to this channel or pressed any of the other buttons, would you be so kind? And as I always say, push! Push those buttons and that would help me so I can help you. Until the next tour, I say uh, I will, I will. <laughs> Until the next tour, I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye bye. It's hot. <laughs>